So how many of y'all out there hold in stuff? Just hold it in, like you know, like you know all of this stuff. It's not even necessarily just anger, but just anything. You know all of this stuff. There's people around, stuff you could be doing. Why are you holding it in? The stuff that you hold it back is what you're gonna get rich off of. I tell people this over and over, but the stuff that you want to, you know what I'm saying? Like the wildest, your childhood dreams, essentially, is what you're going to get rich off of when you let people hold back. They have information that can help and change people, and they hold back. And I'm saying that because sometimes when I, I'm out, I do what's called soapbox, that's what we used to call it. And I teach out loud. The people think I'm nuts, and they think I'm talking to myself, and it's like, no, I'm talking to you. Like the same stuff I do on YouTube, I do in public. So I'm talking to you, whoever's listening. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and every time I do it, I see some form of an achievement for me. It doesn't have to be money, but some form of progress always comes from letting out and releasing, is what I would call it, what's in me. If you hold stuff back, that's a health issue. And that could lead to. You taking it out of your man, your woman, your children, coming to work, end up losing your job, whatever, basically holding stuff back. It's, it seems so small, but usually that's what causes your biggest problems in life. A lot of times people die from the same nine times out of ten, believe it or not, from non release. And it goes into a deeper level of it, of course, but I'm saying even like something in the form of a car accident. I remember I watched The Secret and they said, that even a car accident is something that you manifested that. And I thought they was crazy at first. But now I see what they're saying because it's not that you consciously manifested it, you subconsciously manifested it from holding stuff back. And it, it's like a seed, right? So then it started with little things first. It's not, the car accident is the, the big thing. First you start losing stuff like that. You, you know, and then you know, you're holding stuff back and then you kind of forget what time it is, and you forget which direction you're going, you get the work. And then one day you speed in the work late, and boom, it happens. So, word to the wise, whatever is in you, is something in you. Every day, though, when you wake up, it's something you're holding back. Release it. Every day, ask yourself, what am I holding back? Release it. In banking, the term hold is like a lean, you know? When someone puts a hold on you in banking, it's a lean or a form of a holding on to something until you come up with what they need. And that's the same thing if you do when you hold something in your body. You putting a hold on it until you can come up with whatever it is that you, you know, your inner self is asking. You have a higher self and a lower self. So your higher self may be asking if something with you or your lower self and you hold it back. It's causing it's called a ripple effect. So you start to notice every day you wake up, the same stuff happens. You start, life starts to feel very mundane. Hold stuff back. Got to release. And that's a form of healing. But then I can take you to the higher levels of it. So I'm going to talk about healing with water on a level that you've probably never heard. So I'll be coming up with that soon. Namaste.